what it mean, Bowery YouTube, Day. I'm back again today for another How to Play video, and today I'm excited to teach you how to play the Ultimate Field Day. This is for two to six players, ages three plus. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that each player picks out one of the colored pawns and places it on the start spot. Now, any of the unused pawns can go back into the box. You won't need it for the game, so we're going to set up a three-player game. Next, you're going to make sure that each player gets one of these ribbons right here. Then the rest of the ribbons are going to go back into this bag. And the goal of the game is to have the most ribbons once everyone has reached the finish spot. So to figure out who goes first, everyone's going to roll the die until you have one person who has the highest roll. And then that player is going to roll the die to see how many spaces they're going to move along the track. Whatever space you land on is going to be the action that you're going to take. And then you're going to pass the dice clockwise around the table to the next player who's going to do the same thing. So let's talk about each of the spots on the board and exactly how they work. So first, all the green spots just mean your turn is over, just pass the die. The ribbons, either the ones or the plus twos, are going to give you either one or two ribbons out of the green bag. The three hands are the rock, paper, scissors competition spot. And when you land on a competition spot, you're going to challenge either the player to your left or the player to your right to whatever the competition is. So in this case, it's a game of rock, paper, scissors... And whoever wins is going to take one ribbon from whoever lost the competition. Now, if the losing player doesn't have a ribbon, then the winning player will take a ribbon out of the bag. And if there's a tie, then you just keep going until someone wins. Now, if you don't remember how to play rock, paper, scissors, it's really quite simple. Each player is going to put their hand into the middle like so, then they're going to go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And you can put one of three different hand gestures out. First, you can do a rock, which is like this. Now, the rock is good because it crushes scissors, but it does lose to paper. Next, you could put out a paper like this, which means you're going to lose to scissors, but you will beat rock. And last, you have the scissors, which will get crushed by a rock, but they will cut through paper. Now, the next spot you'll see along the board is the red X on the yellow spot. This means you're going to lose one ribbon and put it back into the bag. Next, we have the die spot right here with one die, which is another competition spot where you'll challenge either the player to your left or the player to your right, and you're both going to roll the die one time, and whoever gets the highest number wins the competition and wins one ribbon from their opponent. We also have the dice twice spot right here, which works a lot like the single die, except each player is going to roll the dice twice and then add up their total, and whoever has the highest total is going to win the competition and win a ribbon. If there's a tie, then you keep rolling until somebody wins. Next, we have the negative two right here, which just means you're going to lose two ribbons. Put them back in the bag. Also, there is a gust of wind cloud, and if you happen to land on the gust of wind, you return all of your ribbons to the green bag. And the last two symbols I want to talk about on the board are the high-risk, high-reward paths. And they're right here and right here. And how this works is when you get to those points on the path, you have a decision to make. Do you want to keep going the safe way? Or do you want to stop immediately, even if your number would have you not stopping? So let's pretend you were on the arrows right here and you rolled a six and you decide you want to go to the high risk, high reward zone. You would still have to stop right there on the stop sign. Your turn would be over. But if you decide to go this route, this is the only route where you can get the plus two ribbons. Now, if you're the first person to reach the finish line, you're immediately going to take two ribbons out of the bag, and your game is over. However, everyone else is going to continue to keep playing until they get to the finish line. This means that once you cross the finish line, you cannot be challenged in any of the competitions. However, once everyone has reached the finish line, and once again, only first place gets the two bonus ribbons, you're going to total up how many ribbons each player has, and whoever has the most ribbons will be the winner of the Ultimate Field Day. If you're interested in the game, I'll post some more info down below. And if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button or support the Patreon as I teach new games all the time. But go have some fun, and thanks for your time, YouTube.